Welcome everyone to Robbinsville High School. We're with you for Friday afternoon Smoky Mountain Conference baseball action right here on the Gram Star Sports Network. Kevin Hensley with you for this afternoon's telecast of White Knights Baseball. And it's coming your way in just a short sword as Robbinsville and Swain County duking it out this evening here in Graham County. Welcome everyone, as we said, to Robbinsville High. Appreciate all of you tuning in wherever you may be, whether you're a Black Knight or a Maroon Devil, you are very much welcome here on the Graham Star Sports Network. Robbinsville coming into tonight's game with a winless record. They're hoping to get that off the books once and for all tonight. 0-5 for the season. They're 0-2 in the division. Meanwhile, Swain County has won two this year. They're 2-5 and five, and both say 2-1 and one mark in Smoky Mountain Conference play here on the Graham Star Sports Network this afternoon. Fans, we are very privileged to be bringing you Robbinsville baseball one more time as we're coming to you live this afternoon. It's a toasty Friday evening. We got the best DJ in the absolute world sitting right next to us. Hopefully she's going to guide us through the innings. It is very superstitious that it's so warm in March here in Graham County. And we hope that'll get you to hold on for us for the night. As the last time we were out here, we about froze to death. That was last Wednesday against Stillwell, Oklahoma. Starting a little bit early. How about that, folks? 4.25 p.m. And we've got our first batter on the hill today for Robbinsville is Ethan Orr. First pitch is a fly ball to center field. Bryce Garrison makes a running, leaping catch near the warning track. One pitch, one out here in the top of the first for Swain County. Pitch coming at 4.25 p.m. as we mentioned, the tip to first pitch. A balmy, I guess, 74 degrees. I heard her say it in her brain. One pitch, one out for Ethan Orr. That one misses up inside. Ball one to Reese Winchester, the second baseman today for the Maroon Devils. And that one's upstairs. Swung on and missed. Good cut by Winchester. We come up empty. Two balls and a strike now. Stairs, three balls, one strike. So Winchester showing a little bit of patience here in the early going. Good if you're the Maroon Devils. 3 1. Off straight up. Rice Adams has a good beat on it, and he'll make the play. Good catch by the catcher. Sophomore Bryce Adams gets the P2 on the scorecard, two outs. Up to the plate, struts Gabe Miller in the three hole today. Robinsville and Swain have already met this week. If you're wondering, keep the score at home. Swung on and missed. Cut by Lillard only one. Robinsville made the trek over to Bryson City on Tuesday. Came up on the losing end of a 12 3 victory for the Maroon Devils. And just misses ball and a strike. Lillard. Ethan Orr on the bump again today, as we mentioned, fans, a junior for Robbinsville. And swung on a miss, that'll make it a ball and two strikes. Keep being with us wherever you may be tuned in. We've got our scoreboards on the cooperate with us because, of course, it's not. If that resolved, we will. Fly ball, right center field. Boy, he poked that right into the gap. That's where you want to hit it if you're anybody at the plate. Turpin will reel it in, but it's a stand-up double with two outs for Gabe Lillard here in the top of the first. Devils. 
Kevin Ware had a good call before the game. We should have more shorts. It is warm out here, at the very least. So, uh, Friday afternoon. From Orr is fouled off near the food truck, but it'll clear if only room is there. Well, ball and strike. Devils yeah, looking to strike here in the top of the first. The pitch. Boy, that was a good breaking ball. I dropped right into the zone. Rose, Mr. Hayes. That's now ball and two strikes. on that one. Two and two is the count. Fly ball rope the opposite way down the left field line. It will go foul. Hayes put a good charge in it. Wind's blowing out today. pitch. Swung on and missed. Hayes strikes out and the Devils leave one stranded. We'll go to the bottom of the first. Robbinsville coming up. No score here in Graham County. Bottom of the first. Welcome back to Robbinsville High School. No score here in this Smoky Mountain Conference matchup between the Maroon Devils and the Black Knights. First pitch to leadoff hitter Graylin Orr will be a ball needless to say. Want to know the count. Starting pitcher today for the Devils is Ronnie Griggs. That one up in the zone as well. Two balls and no strikes. Three zero, and you're going to put a speedy runner on if you're going to put Mr. Orr on the base path at any point today reason they put him in the leadoff spot and taking all the way what you need to do in that situation a 3-0 count three balls no strikes three one from Griggs all four or draws leadoff walk and that will bring up Caleb Turpin Out and one on. Roped to second base. That could be a double play. I get the four six fielder's choice, and that's all they'll get. Turpin beats it out. One out. Now Turpin on, and Orr is erased. But Robinville still has a base runner on. And here's Lathan Buchanan. First pitch to Buchanan is fouled off. And it screams onto the fence. 0 and 1. Elsewhere in the conference today, not much going on. Murphy Cherokee are playing at Cherokee. Baseball and softball action. A little dribbler hit by Buchanan to the mound. And they'll get the 1-3 put out. That'll advance Turpin to second. Two down for Quinn Jumper. Has been a nice surprise in the varsity lineup this year. First pitch is popped up foul, and it will disappear in the 
Tall, tall grass back here behind us at Robbinsville High School. Rounded to third base and eats him up over at the corner. Turpin rounds third. He's going to come home. The throw is going to be off the line. 1 0 Robbinsville here in the bottom of the first. Turpin scores on the air. Should have had jumper at first on that one. Hey, the Knights are hungry, fans. Looking for their first victory of the year. And after the way the game went Tuesday in Bryson City, they sure want to get some redemption this afternoon. Pitch is fouled right back to the fence. Oh, and one the count. Knocked like a little piece of debris or something off. I just, I just did it to be funny. It was like a little bitty speck of like sheet rock or something. Wouldn't much. Keep Anna wearing her toes over here. Especially with Alex Knight to play. 0-2 count on the senior. That's up one nothing. Fly ball hit hard to center field. That'll get down. And jumper can fly as well. He may get the signal from Brent Eisenhower. He will. He's around third and chug into the plate. And he'll cross it. Standing up 2 nothing. Black Knights. RBI double for Alex Knight. Well, he put a charge into that one, folks. 0-2 count. And he had enough of that. That's good to see. Now, Ethan Orr at the plate. Copped. First pitch he sees to the second baseman. Throw to first will be in time. And Orr, try as he may, will not beat it out. They'll strand Knight. But Robbinsville jumps ahead. Two runs come home on an error, and an RBI double from Alex Knight will go to the second. Two nothing Black Knights here on the Gram Star Sports Network. Two nothing Black Knights as we creep into the second inning here on the Gram Star Sports Network. Kevin Hensley with you this afternoon from Loudon Or Memorial Field, right here on the campus of Robbinsville High School. First pitch from Ethan Orr will be swung on and missed. Nothing in one. Better to play it is Braden Ross, and I'm so sorry if I'm mispronouncing that. 0 2 count. Braden in right field today for the Devils. Down and out of the mitt. Ball and two strikes. Fly ball over to shortstop. Raylan Orr, they get him at first. One out. And that will bring up the pitcher, Ronnie Griggs, to the plate for the first time today. Should all of you being with us as we mentioned here on the Gram Star Sports Network. We tell it every time because we never ever want you to forget what we do. We stream five varsity sports for the Black Knights here in Graham County, North Carolina. We're in southwestern tip of the state. Of course, football and volleyball are your fall sports. Basketball gets us through the chilly winter months. Very privileged to have been along the ride for the girls and boys. Remarkable runs this year. Girls made all the way to the Western Finals. First time in program history. Boys advanced to the third round. And won a hefty 23 games this season. Nothing to sneeze at. Griggs walked on four straight pitches. That's the first one of the game. Issued by Eeyore, Ethan Orr. He's got a strikeout. 
but now he's got to walk. And first baseman Grady Lewis is going to step up to the dish. Griggs is on with one out. And that one catches the plate. 0 and 1. With you for softball action all year long, and we were gonna have a telecast yesterday. Robin Felton Swain was supposed to play on the other side of the campus from us at Judy Nichols Memorial Field, but well, Mother Nature had other plans. We didn't have a bit of rain yesterday after it just come a torrential downpour on Wednesday evening. Here's a throw to second. They may have him, and he got around the tag, I believe. No, the ball got loose, my apologies. Orr was right there at it. Grayland Orr, I should say. That throws a little bit off the mark. So that'll give Griggs second base. Our score position for the Devils. Ball is outside. Three and one. The Lady Knight staff, Billy Knight and Joanne Knight, Petey Millsaps, Jason Postel all worked diligently yesterday trying their darndest to get the field in playing condition and by about 2.30 3 o'clock yesterday had to make a choice and they chose to not play the game which Knight said it was an absolute mud hole over there and I would suppose so back to back walks Lewis now at third Griggs will hang tight at second and Aiden Southards will step up to the plate, the center fielder for the Maroon Devils. I'm sure copious amounts of quick dry were applied to the field over the other side of the campus. Sun finally did come out yesterday afternoon and the wind blew everything they needed to do just a few hours before it actually came across. Fly ball to right field. Turpin was playing way up, and that's an accident. That's going to go all the way to the track. Here comes Griggs around third. He is chugging home, and he'll get there safe and sound. How about an RBI double for Aiden Southards? Cuts it in half. It's 2-1. Robbinsville still in the lead. And left fielder Finley Crisp is back up to the plate. Catches the inside part of the plate. O oh, and one. My ball popped right back to the fence. That'll shake your camera and your teeth at the same time. We had our scoreboard rejiggered overnight. Worked on our on screen graphics a little bit, trying to make it a little more aesthetically pleasing. So, the reason it's not displaying now, there is the pitch in there. Frozen strike three. And that is out number two, second strikeout of the day for Ethan Orr. Finley Crisp is set down, and the Devils are already back to the top of their lineup card with Lawson Woodard, who flew out to center field his last at bat. Ball is low and in. 1 0 the count. Pitch from Orr. Hit right back where it came from, and it skips off the side of second base. Well, I took an odd leap, and Bryce Garrison reels it in. Lights Buchanan cuts it off. Devils are ahead. 3 2. So, a two RBI single. Devils take the lead. Here on the Gram Star Sports Network, here's Reese Winchester. Two outs here in the top of the second. Woodard's off to the races, and he's in there sliding just in case he needed to. Bryce Adams thought about firing and just held tight at home. I 
on third now. Adams will throw over Chester's head, and Woodard will get in. So it's back-to-back -back stolen bases. One one count on Winchester. Two outs here in the top of the second. Here's the pitch. Popped a mile high. And that's trouble. Ball and two strikes as it lands in the high, high fescue back here behind us. All right, back to the fence. Anna Ware's feet have been about a foot closer than might have tipped her toe off there, but she's good to go, I think. No injuries to our DJ. That's a blessing. iPad has cooled off, so the fans can entertain themselves with music here in just a minute. I know she's got a hit queued up. And that one outside. Adam's keeping a close eye on the proceedings at third. Woodard got a little antsy with his lead. Pitch right back where it came from again. Oh, that's back-to-back -back singles right up the gut. And Swain now leading 4-2. to two. Well, If you're Robbinsville, you want to stop the bleeding. Now, dead in its tracks, some form or fashion. Seems to be a recurring theme this year for these Black Knights. They get up early on their opponents, and they do. They score frequently in the early goings. And when the opposition rallies, they rally big. Winchester takes off. And a throw to second will be late. Braylon Orr, Braylon Orr got the tag in. It was a great accurate throw by sophomore Bryce Adams. But it just wasn't there quick enough. Winchester flew in between the bases. A one count with two gone. He's going to third now. It's a hit and run. Fly ball will drop right behind us. Anna Ware was curled up. I don't know what she thought that was going to do. Anna Ware's glove had a hole in it. We have confirmed that. You could have threw your hat out and caught that, man. <laughs> Anna Ware in the fetal position will not win against the foul ball, I promise. Here's the 0-2. Fly ball left, center field, but playable. Bryce Garrison will miss it on the warning track. Boy, he had a good beat on it. The wind just whipping through here this evening. Carried it away from him. And that'll be an RBI double. Swing continues to pile on. It's 5-2. to two. And... Gabe Lillard now at second. Here's Carter Hayes, who struck out to end the top of the first. So the Devils have almost batted around here. Swung on and missed. Good cut. I'm up empty, though. Nothing and one. Inside. Adam snagged it. One and one the count. Folks are doing everything short of stopping the broadcast to try and get the score for it to work, and it's not cooperating. Rub betting it just in case it decides it wants to cooperate. Yesterday that we mentioned that was postponed between Robinsville and Swain. Softball has not been rescheduled yet. Fly ball deep center field. Garrison gets it that time. And that will do it. But the Devils strike back and strike back hard. Five runs come home for Swain County on, let's see, four hits and one left on. We will go to the bottom of the second. 5-2 Maroon Devils. Bottom of the second, welcome back fans to Robbinsville High School. The Maroon Devils have surged ahead 5-2 after Robbinsville took a 2-0 lead in the bottom of the first. Let's see what Bryce Adams can do here. Hey, his first home game 
Last week, he launched a solo homer to deep center field, only home run of the year so far for the Black Knights baseball program. Outside corner, two balls, two strikes on Bryce Adams. Fly ball rope the opposite way. It'll drop in shallow right field. And how about that? Lead off. Single for Bryce Adams. And that'll bring up Bryce Garrison. Late. Garrison out of the infield today and into the outfield. First pitch he sees is chopped foul, 0 and 1. Oh, one on the way from Griggs swung on and missed. Garrison had a good cut, came up empty. Strike three called, snap throw to first. They got him. Oh, boy. Oh, they caught Mr. Adams napping first base. How about that for your highlight reel? So we will call that a double play. One to two to three. And two gone. Bottom of the lineup card at the plate now. First pitch to freshman Luke Lovin will be fouled off. Oh, and one. Boy, that was just a keen play made there by Carter Hayes behind the plate. Good read on the defense. Knew he had his first baseman right there to snag the ball if needed. And Grady Lewis more than willing to apply the tag. Lovin strikes out on three pitches, and the Devils have some momentum in their corner now. Leadoff batter erased on a double play. Snap throw to first after a strikeout. And we'll go to the top of the third. It's 5-2 Maroon Devils. You're watching the Graham Star Sports Network. 5-2 Swain County. Welcome back, fans, here on the Graham Star Sports Network. Leading off for the Devils is Braden Ross. And first pitch he sees is... Me right down the belt line, nothing in one. That one drops in as well. Good pitch by Ethan Orr. Trying to keep his composure. Robinsville struck for two in the bottom of the first. The Devils responded with a five run second. That one. That hit the bat. And there is a heated debate going on on both sides of the field on what hit what. And we'll have a discussion on a third baseline. With the Swain County baseball coach as Ethan Orr and Bryce Adams will have a conference in between the mound and the plate. Ball sounded like it hit the helmet first, then the bat, but I don't want to speak in a term because that's what the Swain County people are saying. And 
I believe they finally got all the confusion wrapped up here. Playing umpire today. Call it, I guess, a foul ball because he's going to say it was off the bat. Now still 0 and 2. That one in the dirt, ball one. My ball roped hard to left field, and that will get down in front of Luke Lovin. So after all the pomp and circumstance, it'll be a single, and that's how we begin the top of the third. Ronnie Griggs to the plate. First pitch, Greg sees popped up into shallow right. Alex Knight flies behind him and gets the pop out. One away, one still on. Here is Grady Lewis. As a pickoff play, throw to second. They got him! Wow, that was beautifully done by Robbinsville. Two outs after they erased the lead runner. Well, that was a key maneuver there. How about that? Pickoff goes one to three to six. Two outs. Lewis takes one outside, up and away. And that one misses. For the night, you want to get out of here unscathed and continue to work your way back into this one. That's going to end up being a walk, so after all that, Lewis has walked at two outs, and they put another runner on, Aiden Southards, who started all the scoring fun for the Devils in the bottom of the, or excuse me, the top of the second, I beg your pardon, is coming up to the dish. It just swung on and missed, 0 and 1. Roped hard right in between the shortstop and the third baseman. Loving will be there to cut it off, and it'll be a single, so a walk and a hit. And the Devils have two on now with two outs. And here's Finley Crisp. Pitch there. Adam made sure that Southerns went no further down at first base. It was a ball and a strike. And the pitch. There again, one ball, two strikes. Outside. Chopped right back where it came from. Oral batted down. Throw to first. 
And he'll get out of the jam. The Devils will strand two. And they got two hits here in the inning, but nothing to show for it. Bottom of the third coming up here on the Gram Star Sports Network. It's Swain County 5 and Maroon Devils uh, lead Robbinsville 5-2. to two. Bottom of the third, 5-2 to two here on the Gram Star Sports Network. We welcome you back, fans, and once again, apologize for not being able to throw our scoreboard up. My goodness, Graylin Orr at the top of the lineup card. Will bat for the second time today. Second pitch he sees has popped up down the third baseline. And it's reeled in. For the first out. Put out made by Gabe Lillard over at the hot corner. One away. Here's Caleb Turpin. Outside, ball one. Turpin, one of the five seniors on this team this year for Robbinsville. Another one awaits in the on-deck circle, Lathan Buchanan. That one pops him in. Good pitch by Griggs. One ball, one strike. Roped hard, and boy, that was a good play. Made it shortstop, though. Turpin hit it right at him. And that's a heck of a play by Lawson Woodard. Two gone. Base is empty. Lathan Buchanan to the plate. One in there, O and one. No balls and two strikes. Popped up foul, and it will get out of play. Randy Buchanan ducked out of the way just in case. He's over against the pictures. Today's game for the yearbook staff and hopefully for the Graham Star. Appreciate everything Miranda does. Help us out here at Graham Star and the Graham Star Sports Network, for that matter. Now still 0 2 on Lathan Buchanan. And he'll rope it into the outfield, left center, and it will be caught. By Aiden Southerns, that will do it. One, two, three, bottom of the third for Robbinsville. We'll go to the fourth. Swain still leading the Knights, five to two. We're in the fourth, fans, welcome back to Robbinsville High School. It's five to two in favor of the visitors from Bryson City, the Swain County Maroon Devils. This is Smoky Mountain Conference baseball action coming your way this Friday afternoon from Graham County. Batter at the plate, Lawson Woodard has flown out, and he's got a two RBI single to his credit today, so he's one for two at the dish. Beautiful Friday evening here in Robbinsville. Upstairs, he chased it, and that's a strikeout. Third strikeout of the day for Ethan Orr. Swung on and missed. 0-1, Reese Winchester at the plate. He popped out to the catcher in his first at-bat today. Later on, he had an RBI single of his own. And a five-run inning. Trickle down the third baseline. Home plate umpire Radford Cheek calls it foul either way. Get off the plate. Counts 0-2. off to the fence. Bryce Adams will jog back and pick it up and give it back to his pitcher. 
That's really trying to fill out the depth chart on the pitching rotation. And back the back strikeouts will help eat the Norris cause here. Four strikeouts today now. And here's Gabe Lillard. The Knights really only have about two starters they've turned to all year, Ethan Orr and Graylin Orr. And that one off of Adams, off of Cheek, off the fence, off of Pinto over here to our right. Russ Adams will throw it back in. 0-1 count. That one in there as well. 0-2 count. Boy, Orr is in a zone here in the bottom, or excuse me, I beg your pardon, the top of the fourth. Get it right in a minute. Popped up a mile high, and I think it's going to be Alex Knight taking charge, and he does. How about a 1-2-3 top of the fourth? That's the first one of the ball game for Robbinsville. We'll go to the bottom of the inning. Knight's still got some catching up to do. It's 5-2 on the Graham Star Sports Network. Bottom of the fourth. Knights still battling here this afternoon. They scored two in the bottom of the first. Swain County scored five in response in the top of the second. And that's where we're at. Bottom of the fourth. Ron Griggs delivers a pitch to Quinn. Jumper, he slaps it to the third baseman. Jumper can fly, but he won't be quick enough to beat out that throw. Five to three. One pitch, one out. Somewhere Olivia Lewis just grumbled at that play. He felt it. Subconscious. It was like a telepathic thing across the campus. And here's Alex Knight. Funny how the music always works fine when it's Alex Knight's turn to the plate. <laughs> and that one misses one ball and no strikes. And aware with the patience of Job over here to our right. Doing as fine a job as she can in the elements. It is a steamy Friday evening here in Graham County, and when the iPad tablet overheats, there is not much you can do. Griggs fired that pitch so hard that he blew his hat off his head. Showing that nicely quaffed red hair. Two O pitch. Load of the dirt. Oof. Oh, excuse me, I guess they're going to call that a strike. Wow, Alrighty. My apologies, two balls and a strike. That looked low. And I thought so too, I believe. That one upstairs, no doubter. Three balls and a strike. I showing some patience. He had an RBI double in the bottom of the first. It's the last run that Robinsville scored to this point. And he'll take a walk. And so will the Black Knights. One out. Got a base runner on for pitcher Ethan Orr. Looking to help his cause. I said cool enough hip hop beat that I dug that a little bit. Eeyore smacks it up the gut. That's a good shot. Knight stops that second. Southern drills it right in there. And how about that? Knights with one out. Get a walk and a hit. And the tying run is coming to the plate in the form of Big Bad Bryce Adams. Your sophomore forward for the Black Knights basketball team. And now your sophomore catcher for the baseball team. No, you really didn't. As soon as the play is over, you can play it. You don't have to wait for him to start walking to the plane. We may get more of the awesomeness out if you do that, actually. More of the song. And as we all know, the umpires in the stands are way more accurate. Ball and a strike here in the fourth. One. And 
Adams scoffs at the notion, but he's set down on three straight, two gone. Here's Bryce Garrison. It's really confusing when you put Bryce's in the lineup. It's really more confusing when they're back to back. Yeah. But there's one thing for sure. You can't mistake them if they're sitting next to each other. They are. We actually spell check Mr. Garrison's name. I got a message from our Murphy newspaper that was laying out our spring sports preview. They'll be in next week's edition of the Graham Star. And they said, just confirm it, I spell correct. And I was like, yes, it is. Garrison, a solid player for the Knights. Max that one to deep second base. Throw to first. And the rally bid will come up short. It'll be a strikeout and a ground out. Knights strand two of their own will go to the fifth. Swain five. Robbinsville two. Bottom of the fifth. Welcome back to Robbinsville High School. It is 5-2. Maroon Devils here on the top of the fence. We are with you live on this Friday evening. Absolutely pristine baseball weather. Lead off batter is Carter Hayes. Or is struggling a little bit with some control issues here in the early going. He's going to ask for an alternative baseball. And he'll get it. You're with us Monday at Copper Basin. The Lady Knights and Lady Cougars fouled off so many balls that they actually ran out of game balls. And we had a stall in the game while they had to go retrieve some more. Adams waiting for his sign. Pitching coach Chandler Gunter asking where it's missing at. Upstairs, it is a four pitch walk to begin the fifth. So, Orr with four strikeouts today, but now has issued his fourth walk. And a courtesy runner has appeared. From the Swain County dugout. As this is the first time today, Carter Hayes has got on base. That is Corey Stillwell that is out at first. Pickoff play, keeping him honest. That was giving him a little bit of a hard time about that. Great. I'll set to play. Four, five, and six holes were due up for. Swain, this is slot number five at the dish. Stillwell, Angel, back to the first base back. Swain's held this 5-2 lead since the top of the second. Since then, they have stranded two base runners out of one, two, three, fourth. Throw to second. Almost there in time, or just had to have a little bit of an extra hiccup to get the tag applied. Uh, couldn't apply it in time. And Stillwell is in scoring position. Nobody out. Counts one and one. Swung on and miss. Ball and two strikes. Ronnie Griggs, the pitcher, is in the on deck circle. Fans enjoy Tuesday's telecast. I know the Maroon Devils Network puts on top quality production. Over in Bryson City. It's a production we aspire to get to. At some point we will, hopefully. We've integrated a lot of things along the way this year. Appreciate your patience as we went to this pay-per-view model. I know that's not the most popular decision, but hey, anytime you buy a game, a portion of the proceeds will get donated right back to the program you're watching. So if you buy baseball tickets, uh, baseball pass, I should say, then you're giving money back to the baseball program. I'm sorry, very happy to do that. Great working relationship we have with our friends here at Robbinsville High School. One, two, pitch, foul, back to the fence. 
and the count stays one ball and two strikes. And aware may end up in a turtle shell over here before the game is over. Just keeps curling up like this. It's a reflex, like I get it. Fouled off a ball and two strikes. That's why she doesn't play track either. But anyway, we're not going to talk about that. Well, I don't even know what that means. I don't even know what that means. And Ware was a superstar runner before she hung up her cleats. Fly ball roped. Shallow center field, and that is trouble. Garrison comes up firing. Boy, he fired a hard strike. Throw to second, and he'll be late. So the RBI single, and he'll get second. Go ahead and score a double. Well, why not? And the lengthy at bat ends with the sixth Swain County run of the afternoon. Here's Ronnie Griggs. Outside. 1-0. Here in Graham County today, the only other sports action going on is at Western Carolina. The Robbinsville track team is competing in Cullowee as we speak. Past ball. They actually call that a wild pitch. That one was rising from the moment it left Orr's glove. And they will score a wild pitch. Ross moves to third. WNC kickoff, that's being hosted by Swain County. And the middle school program is also at Swain County today for baseball and softball action. We'll keep tabs to see just how they do. The Lady Knights were 2-0 and after Tuesday's win. 10 to nothing here at home against the Devils. Baseball team took a wick, if you'll have it, 22 to nothing Tuesday. Griggs smacks that one. Boy, he got a hold of it, and it's off the fence. Luke Lovin will throw it in, and they swap places. Back-to-back -back RBI doubles. Swain's up 7-2. And the capacity crowd here from Swain County in high adulation about that. Had an external mic plugged up today, hoping to bring you guys some sights and sounds from the game. And because everything else isn't cooperating, why would it work as well? No one catches the plate. One ball, one strike. And a not so friendly reminder there's still no outs here in the top of the fifth. That was already tucked on two more. Leading seven to two. That one hit hard, foul, and out of the ballpark. Bryce Adams showing a lot of hustle. That's come flying off. Pitches upstairs. He bit at it. And that's the first strikeout. First out period of the inning. Strikeout number five of the ball game for Ethan Orr. And Aiden Southers will step up to the plate. Inside, ball one. As we apologize if the quality of the stream is not up to snuff today. We're working off our hotspot, there is no Wi Fi here at the ballpark. And normally the connection is a lot better with the hotspot, but that's not the case today. Always working to improve our quality of stream. Ethan Orr just missed that one. And Alex Knight couldn't field it. Holy smokes. 
Griggs stops at third. Southern's all the way to second. Nobody's there to cover it. Why not take it? And head coach Brent Eisenhower has popped out of the dugout. And that might be the end of the line for Ethan Orr, who lasted four and a third today in Smoky Mountain Conference action against Swain County. So the pitching change will summon in our friend from shortstop, Graylin Orr, will step aside while Mr. Orr gets his warm-up tosses in and back in just a few on the Gram Star Sports Network. Graylin Orr is all warmed up, and we welcome you back here top of the fifth, 7-2. to two. Maroon Devils lead at the moment. And they're in a dangerous spot to open up a really big advantage. They've got two on, and both are in scoring position. One out. And I think Finley Chris might have fouled that one off his foot. Walking away a little gingerly from the plate. He'll need a moment to gather his bearings. One and two, and Boss will get away. And to the fence, here's Griggs scoring. Eight to two. I'm out of my mic's back on, we're not going to talk about it, okay? <laughs> and where's being mean over here to my right? That's W-E-H-R, in case you need to look her up and bully her on Instagram or something. Strikeout on Philly Chris. <laughs> Two outs. Oh, good debut here in the game for Braylon Orr. He got a strikeout. And we're back to the top of the car with Lawson Woodard. And away, ball one. And that one also low and away, ball two. My ball. Down the first baseline, Latham Buchanan will reel it in, and that limits the damage to three runs, but it's three runs, and Robinsville's got more of a hole to dig out of now after three come across. Bottom of the fifth up next, 8-2, Maroon Devils here on the Grim Star Sports Network. Bottom of the fifth, first pitch to Luke Lovin sent to deep center field, but it will be snagged one pitch, one out. Knights trailing 8-2 here on the Gram Star Sports Network. Back to the top of the car, Graylin Orr, who's now pitching. At the plate, 1-0 count. Ronnie Griggs back out for his fifth inning of work. Popped up, and it reaches the upper echelons of the skyline before it drops. And that's two outs, two quick outs for Robbinsville. Here's a difference maker in Caleb Turpin. Two outs, nobody on. Even if he is a Cowboys fan, we still love Caleb Turpin. Faithful till the end, those Cowboy fans. Some of our Ren Millsaps just cringe because I mentioned his beloved Cowboys. Lucas Ford might have as well. There's always next year. That's what they always say. There's always next year. And the year after that, there's always next year too. I can't 
can't say anything. I'm a diehard Falcons fan. Like, we've had nothing to talk about for years since the Super Bowl of Doom that we don't speak of. Where we blew a 28-3 lead because Atlanta. Opposite way. Pokes it in the left field. That's going to drop. How about a two-out hit for senior Caleb Turpin? And Stone Cold Latham Buchanan about to come up to the plate. Two outs. One on. And Buchanan needs to do something here to try to get this lead cut in half at least. Good times rolling. Turpin with a nice opposite field smack. And that one is off of Hayes. When Jumper jumps to action. Reels it back in. That one in the dirt. Good stop by Hayes. Well, that saved Turpin from scooting up to second. Two outs. Count is one and one on Latham Buchanan. That one fouled off right here behind us. Mackenzie Brooks did not offer at it, and it's just going to die a death. She's too busy chowing down on her supper back here, I guess. A ball and two strikes. Hit hard. Fair ball. Now to left field line. That's going to poke close to the corner. Night. Excuse me, Turpin the second. I beg your pardon. Buchanan at first. Back-to-back -back hits. Or Robbinsville. Here's Quinn Jumper. Now the cleanup hitter for Robbinsville. He has really been a nice surprise this year in his varsity lineup. I think Anna Ware might have just sold Wareloom Honey to someone in North Korea, maybe. I'm not sure what, what happened there. Swing and a miss. Jumper had a good swing at it. One ball and one strike. She have a car. She can't even drive yet. Oh, I thought you meant Abby Ware, your sister. Oh, she ain't even old enough to drive. Ball and two strikes. Big cut. Don't tell that. People are listening. Folks, if you see Anna Ware driving, ignore her. She will legally be licensed very soon. Upstairs, strike three called. And the nice strand two again. Boy, the base runner's being left on are killing Robbinsville this afternoon. We'll go to the 6th. It's 8-2 Swain County here on the Gramstar Sports Network. Top of the 6th as we're back with you live from Robbinsville. Scores Swain 8, Robbinsville 2 on the Gramstar Sports And a big tattoo off the bat of Reese Winchester will kick off things here in the 6th. Hit off single. And the Devils just continue to pile on. They've got eight runs today. I don't have an exact count, but I'd say about 20 hits. That's done a good job on defense, but still, Devils have squeaked across eight. Looking at conference matchup, and that was a throw to first. Buchanan it was a little off the mark. Winchester goes to second. It's a hit and run, though. And that will die down the left field line. Foul. Next week, fans, the only telecast that we know of so far will be Tuesday. Robbinsville Cherokee Softball. We'll go visit our Lady Night friends over on the other side of the campus.
And that one hit hard, deep to center field. And it's going to be out of here. Wasn't sure if that one was going to get over the fence, but it did. Gabe Lillard gets a two-run homer here in the sixth. And it's 10-2, Maroon Devils. Here's Carter Hayes. <laughs> I think Anna Ware needs to come to a softball game. Okay, I believe you. And the wind got a hold of that one. Graylin Orr sends it behind the batter. Carter Hayes. Two-run homer. Or Gabe Lillard has made it an eight-run ball game here in the sixth. Now back to the fence. Zone two and two. A lot of balls have jumped off the bat today and have died a death in center field. That is not the case with Lillard's home run. It just kept carrying. Wind has calmed down quite a bit this afternoon. We're going to head over to the high school gym after we're done here and get some pictures of uh, the future future wrestling stars of Graham County. We will not be staying live for the JB game. Anna Ware will be here playing music all by her lonesome. Oh, I'm sorry, are you getting paid for doing the music? Is that outside your pay grade? I know what we can do. We'll get you a cheeseburger with no meat on it. How about that? Emergency runner now that Hayes has walked. He's still well. Run again for Carter Hayes. Abby Adams, just quick as she got here, is leaving. We'll see her Tuesday. She'll be running and doing an awesome job. thought that Abby Ware was the more entitled of the two sisters. Would you drop my book bag off at my house? <laughs> oh, boy. Princess, Princess Anna not even going to stick around for the JV game to do music. 2-0 count. Trying to watch baseball this afternoon in Grab County. That one roped into left center field. And here comes Stillwell. He'll chug home. And that'll be the 11th Swain County run. It'll be an RBI single. And the Devils are up to a nine run advantage. And careful, careful. This one could end early if they score one more. And Robbinsville cannot get it back. Pitch misses outside. Ball one. Robinsville's had plenty of chances. They've squandered base runners not once, not twice, but thrice since bottom of the first. Throw oh, down to second. It's going to be off the bead. That's Adams with a good arm behind the plate. He's got to get it more developed.
Raw stills second. Still no outs. And that one up around the chin of Mr. Griggs. Crowd on hand this afternoon here at the ballpark. Beautiful evening to be out of the house. Chugged hard jumper. One offer at it. It's over his shoulder. Here's a throw to third coming from Luke Lovin, and that's going to eat up Bryce Garrison, who's now at third. And that'll score the 12th Swain County run. He's seven. We'll get him another one. And now it's 12 to two. And if you ever need some relief in your life, a little bit of a chuckle here and there and yonder, just take Anna Ware with you to anything at all in the world, and she will ask 400 questions. I thought you would learn by now. Are you watching? Are you soaking it up? So what's happening right now? <laughs> They're just chilling. It's another pitching change. Bryce Garrison is going to get on the hill for the Black Knights, and while he gets his warm-up tosses in, yes, you got it right. We're going to step aside back in just a few on the Gram Star Sports Network. First pitch from Bryce Garrison is grounded right back where it came from. It took a big hop. And when it's all said and done, it's an infield hit. And I believe that makes runners at the corners for Aiden Southards here on the Gramstar Sports Network. Just swung on a missed. Oh, and one. That one in there. Oh, and two. Well, folks, and I certainly came into today's game with high expectations and got a two run lead in the bottom of the first. And they've not been able to score since. Swain has opened up a 12 2 lead. Double play, maybe. And it's going to be a wide throw. Lathy Buchanan can't dig it out. Griggs will score. On the filter's choice, the uh, RBI, four to six, and the error will keep Southerns on base. Thirteen to two, one gone, and we got a pinch hitter at the plate. Excuse me, it's Rowan Ellis at the plate batting for Finley Crisp, who fouled a ball off of his foot during his last plate appearance, so he may be a little banged up. Inside, and I mean way inside, Southerns will jog to second. Swain is pushed across. Five runs, or excuse me, six runs, I beg your pardon, in this inning. Fourteen to two. A lot of moving parts this afternoon. Knights will get a chance to bat, and if they can score at this moment, three runs, the game will continue. Inside ball four. And Rowan Ellis will jog down the first baseline, top of the lineup. Coming back up, Lawson Woodard is at the plate. Still only one out here in the sixth. Robinsville struggling to get outs here in the latter part of the ball game. 
First one is fouled off. That may take a vehicle. And it actually landed in between a pair of vehicles. I'm being told it was not Abby Adams' car, so that's a good thing. She's too busy delivering Anna Ware's backpack to the house to be in the line of danger. <laughs> Opposite field hit for Lawson Woodard. Fifteen to two on the RBI single. Jessica Ware is a pretty awesome person, not gonna lie. Here's Reese Winchester now, who let off this inning, so now the Devils have batted around. Fly ball left center, and that drops as well. And they're gonna hold all hands on deck. Bases loaded for the hero of the inning, Gabe Lillard, who launched a two-run homer. That uh, has set off now a seven-run sixth here on GramStarsports.com. It did not catch enough of the plate or the call. We'll want to know. Hopped up a mile high. And it looks like Alex Knight will float over and reel it in. Two gone. Carter Hayes will come back up for another hack at it after drawing a walk earlier in the inning. Base is still loaded full of Maroon Devils. They're stockpiled anywhere you look. 15 to 2 here in the sixth inning. There are two outs now. Bryce Garrison is the third Robbinsville pitcher of the afternoon on the hill. Low and away, ball one. Bryce Adams with a nice pump fake. Just to keep the runner honest. And that one's chopped right through the gut. Knight and Buchanan can't get to it. And two will score on the long RBI single by Carter Hayes. And if you're keeping score at home, then you're going to have to because, well, we don't have our scoreboard working. It's 17-2 to two on the Graham Star Sports Network. Sun finally just disappeared, giving us a little bit of relief. If she comes back to give you your sweatshirt, Malachi Cochran will pinch hit for the Maroon Devils. I'm half surprised you didn't ask her to. You take Alex Knight's jacket. Okay. You'll just curl up into a ball like you've been doing for all the foul balls. Swing and a miss. That's a good idea. O oh, and two. Runner still at the corners for the Devils. Ball gets away from Bryce Adams. They're not going to even offer to come home. Reese Winchester will stay planted at third base. One and two with two gone. Now up and in. Cochran off the plate. 2-2 two -two count. Ross Garrison, a junior for the Knights. And the sun peeks back out because of course it does. That one golf to right field. Caleb Turpin misses the ball. And it'll be another error. 
and run number 18 finds its way across the dish in the form of Winchester. And it's now a 10 run top of the sixth for the Devils. And here's Ronnie Griggs, who, needless to say, has quite the insurance on the hill today. 16 run lead. Clancy Stevens has leaned up over here to our left to get a closer view. Can't imagine why. And that one plunks Griggs right in the backside. He's going to charge to first, as one should, after getting hit by a pitch. That's a way to run it off. Forrest Gump had nothing on that trot. And onward we roll. With Mr. Lewis. Brady Lewis at the plate now. Base is loaded again for Swain. The runs just keep coming on. Knights can't do much to stop it. They're just roping the ball left and right and up the gut. Good stop by Bryce Adams. I saved a run. That one hit kind of awkwardly, and Lathan Buchanan will rake it up out of the dirt near the bag. Count is one and one, one and two, excuse me, on Ronnie Griggs. On uh, Grady Lewis, Ronnie Griggs is the first. We'll get it right in a minute. Strike three called, froze him up, and that will do it. The Devils leave them loaded, but fans, they bring 10 runs across the plate. And we'll go to the home half of the sixth. It is 18 to 2, right here on the Grim Star Sports Network. Last chance for Robbinsville here in the bottom of the sixth. Alex Knight will lead off. Knight leading off for the Knights here in the home half of the sixth. That one low, ball two. Live ball blister to left center field, and it will drop. And that's a leadoff hit for Alex Knight. Here's Ethan Orr. And the 2-0 lead that Robbinsville had after the bottom of the first is but a distant memory now. Swain has scored 18 unresponsive runs. Boy, what a play out of second base. Nicely done by the Maroon Devils. Reese Winchester with a L4 put out. One away, here's Bryce Adams. Mitchin Adams with a home run against Stillwell, Oklahoma last week. So he's shown he's got some pop when he can. First pitch. I check a night. He's back to the bag. That one set up nicely. Doubles one on Tuesday, 12 to 3. Four holes here. It's going to be an even bigger victory for our friends from Bryson City. Cherokee will be the marriage next week, here on Tuesday, and at Cherokee on Friday. Inside, Adams leans out of the way. Ball and two strikes. One out. In the dirt.
Strike three called. Adams froze up. That one's going to get away. Alex Knight thought about going to second, but changed his tune pretty quick. And Bryce Garrison will now walk up. If the inning continues, the legendary Carter Birchfield has grabbed a bat. He's like the junior president of everything, right? For Robbinsville. He feels I feel like he should be the president. Like the only one. Like of the United States of America. I mean, we need all the help we can get right now, so it ain't gonna hurt to put a seventeen year old kid in there. <laughs> and aware not a Carter Birchfield fan. Y'all love her brutal honesty. This is great. This is great. <laughs> oh, boy. Live and in living color. You can't beat it. And that one's snagged. What a basket catch. That's going to bring an end to your ball game, fans. Out in left field, a great play made by the Maroon Devils will end this ball game. Final score, Swain County 18, Robbinsville 2.